I, I think it's time that the Browns are seen by the whole nation. Something you guys deserve for everything that we've been through and what we've watched. Uh, and I think this is going to be a coming out party for the Browns. I think this is the type of game that uh, that'll be a lot of fun to show where they're at. He is a leader. He is a guy that galvanizes people around him. Uh, it's pretty cool. I'll be honest, it's scary at times to see what he's been able to do in such a short amount of time. But it's also awesome to see what he's done at the same time. He's a Maserati, the greatest quarterback ever. And we've seen time and time again this quarterback on the last possession with all sorts of heroics. With the first pick in the NFL draft, the Cleveland Browns select. going on everyone my name is connor o'neill and this is some more madden 06 superstar mode featuring chris o'reilly now for those of you who may not be familiar with what's going on in the story don't forget to watch all the other previous videos that i put out in this madden 06 superstar mode playlist i'll leave the link at the top right corner of the screen it should have been there at the beginning of this video it'll be on my channel too just check out the playlist for that but chris o'reilly is the cousin of connor o'neill in this man 06 superstar mode and he was drafted by the cleveland browns how did we not get that pick there as the new quarterback for the team before there was ever a baker mayfield there was chris o'reilly so the football genetics in this family are par none. This is actually my second time recording this little voiceover because um, I was just having difficulty. It was just a weird audio issue with the first one as, oh my goodness, my guy, Chris O'Reilly, throwing near picks, not handing the ball off to his running back when he was supposed to, but he is still a rookie after all. After creating this player, Having him be a 99 overall person, basically. 99 overall speed, 99 overall power, 99 overall accuracy. And it's really going to show later on in this video as you check out some of these highlights here. Now, we are going up against the Steelers in a pivotal divisional matchup as Chris O'Reilly getting his first completion of this series, the first of many. But, yeah, it was uh, pretty interesting this game as we hand out to the running back. Ooh, get off me, son. It's pretty interesting this game, how sloppy it was, uh, how much defensive things mattered, and how Chris O'Reilly had to get comfortable with it, how I had to get comfortable playing with Chris O'Reilly as a quarterback because, honestly, it's uh, it's been a while once again since I've played some Man 06 Superstar Mood as I tried to go to the money play. PA slot crosses did not work there. So we're just going to hand the ball off to Suggs getting the first down. But it was, it's been a while since I played Man 06 Superstar Mode. So I, how does Chris miss that guy? But yeah, I wanted to get more Man 06 for you guys. So, you know, that's where we're at. How the fullback is fumbling? Just, I hit my guy in the flat. I'm thinking we're going to get something going here, and then that happens. Look at this formation. It, the defensive linemen are basically standing up, and that was something else I had to get used to. How does he know? If he just turns around, he picks off the ball. What? You know what? Whatever. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, this was different for me personally, having to play with a 3-4 defense as Baxter is getting a very huge interception changing the momentum of this game this defense came out huge because i was sending pressure on big ben i knew that he wasn't a scrambler so 
if our defense got pressure to him, if we sent him all these crazy blitz packages, he was not going to be comfortable. So let's see how Chris O'Reilly responds on this drive. Trying to scramble out a little bit, getting a couple yards. Not too bad, not too bad. Finding his running back out of the backfield, getting a first down. This right here was not a good play at all. Let me show you guys what happened. So, scrambling around, Chris O'Reilly throwing it into four defensive players. I mean, come on, son. What are you doing? He is still a rookie, ladies and gentlemen. Still going to make rookie mistakes. It does happen. You guys saw how Connor O'Neill made rookie mistakes in his first year. And thank goodness my safeties and defensive backs came to play today to knock those balls down. Pause. But, uh, yeah, Chris O'Reilly finding the guy, throwing it across the field. You're not supposed to do that in real life. That's a cardinal sin rule, but... Hey, Chris O'Reilly is not afraid, folks. He is not scared. He is going to look fear, face fear with his eye or whatever, and he is just going to go after it. So let's see how he does in the third quarter. Chris, Chris, come on, man. I'm trying to give you a proper introduction, and you're basically having our defense give up near touchdowns. That's not good. How did I not use her that? That... That would have been nasty if I did that. But this Steelers team was not going to quit. They were not going to go away, especially in a huge AFC North divisional game. Oh, give me that. Give me, give me, give me that. Thompson with a huge clutch interception. That was very important to seal the momentum of the Steelers offense. I really want to show you guys a little bit more with what's going on with Chris O'Reilly and how his story correlates with Connor O'Neill's story. I know I kind of said my own name, but with my own guy's uh, story with a wide receiver and a quarterback dynamic. So, yeah, that's going to be pretty interesting, especially, spoiler alert, these two are going to have to play each other eventually. So, and I got some more different ideas coming up with Superstar Mode, so be on the lookout for that. But right now, it is 4th and 2, and we are going for it. I don't know why, but the guy wants to get killed, but he finds Brian wide open. His name isn't Dez, but he might as well be diving right into the end zone. Finally, we get a huge touchdown there as I missed the extra point. I I still miss these extra points. And Jerome Bettis, this drive, was just going off. We were trying to just contain the bus, okay? We knew Jerome Bettis was going to get his yards regardless. Another nice deflection by my safety. But... He was going to get his yards anyway. So look at this perfect coverage right here. Big Ben has nowhere to throw it to. Wide receiver gets open at the last minute, but once again, it is knocked down. So my guy was missing a couple open receivers this game. Again, technically my fault, but it does kind of show how long way I've been for the game, kind of correlating his struggles with my struggles and O'Reilly taking a shot down here. Over two defenders. Another touchdown for the Cleveland Browns. And because we're savage, and of course we have to in case they hit, uh, they score two touchdowns and get an extra point to win the game, but we get the two-point conversion somehow. I don't know how my guy got through all those defenders. He looked like Carson Wentz against the Redskins during that Monday Night Football game last year where he pulled a Houdini. And speaking of Houdini, my defense gets another incredible interception this defense came out to play today as we hit oh my god he 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 was wide 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 open sir how do you not hit him sir 
wide open. It doesn't matter though, because I hit my guy Edwards across the middle, and Suggs is getting himself a touchdown as we go up. 21 to nothing. The Cleveland Browns, ladies and gentlemen, getting an uh, getting a score, going up 21 nothing against the Steelers. Who would have funk it? As look, I I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. I suck at kicking on this game, especially with having a new TV. It, it also kind of, it's almost like it lags a little bit as Heinz Ward also gets a touchdown here. So yeah, I mean it's. Is what it is, but look at this. My guy is running around. He does a 360 scramble for the first down. Take another look at this, folks. Cuts on a dime, rolls back. I really underestimated the speed of this guy. Look at him. As he's getting the first down, that, that boy is quick. Speaking of quick here, folks, my guy is going for another scramble. Whoop! Juking that guy right out of his shoes. Oh, he was upset about that. Shutting this down, game down, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Getting another touchdown. That was going to seal the deal with a huge win for the Cleveland Browns. And yes, folks, I will be coming out with more Chris O'Reilly story mode with more Man 06 Superstar mode. If you want some, let me know down below in the comments. Leave a like on this video, comment, and subscribe. Do all that stuff. I really appreciate it. Check out my Facebook page and all that other great stuff for more updates. Click the bell to get notifications. That's when a new video drops. How? If I would have made that conversion, that would have been epic. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will be coming out with more of my regular Conor O'Neill Man 06 Superstar Mode videos. I just wanted to kind of introduce you guys a little bit more to a new character and keep this series all fresh and exciting. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you want more, let me know down below in the comments. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, everyone.